No other topic is surrounded by more myths and legends than anti-gravity. Did the Chinese Communist Party try to pressure a Chinese-American anti-gravity scientist who later disappeared? Does the US military secretly possess this technology and suppress its publication? Let's explore the facts. Do you want to get rich? Great! But do you want to work hard for it? No. And do you know anything about physics? Also no? Perfect. Well, you're in luck, because guess what? The folks at the Pentagon Funding Office don't seem to know either. Here's our plan. We'll just add anti-gravity expert to our business cards and call ourselves miracle workers. Throw in a bit of pseudoscience and we'll be rolling in cash in no time. Forget academic credentials, references, or even a promising concept. Who needs that when you can throw around buzzwords like anti-gravity and let the government pay you handsomely? But first, what is gravity? In Newton's classical mechanics, gravity is explained as a force acting between two masses. His law of gravitation states that every mass exerts an attractive force on every other mass, proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. In Newton's theory, gravity is an invisible attractive force acting instantly across space. Einstein revolutionized our understanding of gravity with his theory of general relativity. He showed that gravity is not a force in the classical sense, but the result of the curvature of space-time caused by masses. Large masses, like planets or stars, curve space-time around them, and what we perceive as gravity is actually the result of objects moving along curved paths within this warped space-time. Einstein's theory thus explains gravity as a geometric property of space-time rather than a direct force between objects. However, Einstein's theory applies mostly to macroscopic large-scale systems and breaks down at very small scales, where quantum mechanics dominates. This is why the theory of quantum gravity is being developed to describe gravity using the principles of quantum mechanics, although a fully successful theory has not been found. The idea of a force or particle that counteracts gravity, often referred to as anti-gravity, is frequently dismissed as science fiction. However, some intriguing experiments in recent decades suggest possibilities that could one day change our understanding. The scientific community is cautious when groundbreaking discoveries in anti-gravity research are claimed. Many sensational results have been debunked upon closer inspection or found to be due to measurement errors or external interference. Nevertheless, we will report objectively on the current state of research as some experiments may one day lead to a breakthrough in this field. What does science know about anti-gravity? One researcher who made headlines in this field in 1996 is the Russian chemist and materials scientist Dr. Eugene Pokletnov. While conducting research at Tampir University of Technology in Finland, he discovered an effect by chance during experiments with superconducting materials that he attributed to anti-gravity. Podkletnov claimed to have found a clearly measurable weak shielding effect against gravitational force and even wrote a scientific paper on the subject. However, the story could have come straight out of a Hollywood movie. After an article about Pokletnov appeared in advance in the Sunday Telegraph, there was an uproar in the scientific community, and the discussion quickly dissolved into accusations of pseudoscience. An initial scientific paper that was supposed to appear in the Journal of Physics D, published by the Institute of Physics, was withdrawn by Podkletnov. The experiment would probably have been forgotten if the BBC hadn't revealed in two articles that various defense companies around the world were researching this very phenomenon. Not only were companies such as BAE Systems and Boeing looking into it, but NASA also joined the investigation. Additionally, on its Earth Science YouTube channel, the BBC released an interesting video in its Weird Science series about the anti-gravity experiments conducted by BAE Systems under the project Green Glow, led by Dr. Ron Evans. And after the outcry from the scientific community, this was a minor sensation especially since NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama established Project Delta G for this purpose and conducted research as part of the Breakthrough Propulsion Program. However, there was a significant problem, producing a superconducting disk anywhere near the size of Pokletnov's. According to Pokletnov himself, it took him almost three years to do this, 
and during his experiments, the disc was rotating at 5,000 revolutions per minute. Unfortunately, his experiment was reportedly destroyed by the management of Tampere University of Technology. Together with the Austrian public broadcaster ORF and the German broadcaster MDR, the report On the Way to UFO Propulsion on Attempts to Shield Gravity by Klaus Simmering 1958-2004 was filmed and later aired on international channels. In addition to Pokletnov, several experts weighed in, including NASA employees like MSFC Chief Engineer Ronald K. Coxar and L. Witt Brantley from the Advanced Concepts Office, as well as Chinese scientist Dr. Ning Li from the University of Alabama in Huntsville and Italian quantum physicist Dr. Giovanni Modenese. They each hold distinct views on anti-gravity. Li believes that the theory of relativity is compatible with anti-gravity whereas Modenese disagrees, citing quantum physics principles. More details on Lee will be provided later. However, Pokletnov, who continued his work at the Moscow Chemical Scientific Research Center following the controversy, and Modenese are viewed with skepticism in scientific circles. This is especially so as no one has yet officially succeeded in reproducing the effect they observed, and both have founded the Gravity Society along with inventor John Schroener, who also claims to have achieved a 2% shielding of gravity using a similar approach. That's why we'd like to highlight another experiment that could have made progress in this field, this time taking us to Austria, specifically to Seibersdorf. There, Martin Tajmar led the Space Systems Division at the Austrian Research Center Seibersdorf, and he published his findings in the Journal of Physics conference series under the title Gravitomagnetic Fields in Rotating Superconductors. As detailed by the German newspaper Die Zeit in a 2007 article, a niobium ring was cooled to minus 269 degrees Celsius using liquid helium and then accelerated to 6,500 revolutions per minute. According to Tajmar, this resulted in the swirling of space-time. This phenomenon, also known as the lens thering effect, or gravitomagnetism, was predicted by Albert Einstein, though not at this scale. This effect was observed not just once, but during several hundred test runs, with the results occasionally presented on the European Space Agency ESA website. However, Tajmar's hypothesis that the massless gravitons in superconductors acquire mass, which would signify a revolution in physics, could not be confirmed by other scientists. In 2011, a team of scientists from the University of Colorado Boulder published a paper in the Physical Review Letters, reporting their attempts to replicate Tajmar's experiment. They found no evidence of an anti-gravity effect and concluded that Tajmar's results were likely due to experimental error. Now let's get back to Ning Li, the anti-gravity scientist from the University of Alabama in Huntsville. First in 2021, a YouTube video on the Barely Sociable channel garnered millions of views and sparked widespread discussion. The main topic was Lee's mysterious disappearance from the public eye. Intrigued by the video, Noah Logan, a journalist from the Huntsville Business Journal, investigated further. In July 2023, he spoke with her son, George Guanyu Men, and published a summary of his findings. In 1999, Lee left the University of Alabama to start her own company. AC Gravity. Public records indicate that in 2001, the US Department of Defense awarded AC Gravity a grant of $448,970 to research the technology. However, the results were never published. It was also confirmed that Li was visited by Chinese officials in 2008 when members of the CCP were touring the US. They attempted to recruit her back to China to continue her work, but Li was not interested. Tragically, Li was struck by a vehicle while crossing the street on the UAH campus, highlighting concerns about driver safety in the US. Her husband suffered a heart attack when he saw his wife of 46 years thrown by the impact. The accident caused Li permanent brain damage, leading to Alzheimer's disease shortly afterward. She passed away in 2021. In 2021, Hamdi Uka from Goxal Aeronautics published an intriguing scientific paper titled Polarity-Free Magnetic Repulsion and Magnetic Bound State. New scientists followed up with an article and a YouTube video. Uka demonstrated a unique form of magnetic levitation, where a magnet could rotate and levitate in the air when placed near another rapidly rotating magnet, demonstrating unusual magnetic behavior. 
In late 2023, the Technical University of Denmark, DTU, published an article titled How a Spinning Magnet Causes Other Magnets to Levitate, which clarified Ukar's observations. The study revealed that the equilibrium position of the levitating magnet results from the magnetostatic interactions between the rotating magnets. This phenomenon is similar to a spinning top, where rotation holds the object in place, resisting gravity and magnetic forces. Will antigravity become our reality? While it's still a long way from becoming an everyday technology, research from both the public and private sectors suggests it's a topic worth watching. With organizations like the Pentagon and NASA taking it seriously, one day we might just find ourselves defying gravity. What do you think? Could anti-gravity be possible in the future? Or is it still just science fiction? Share your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the world of cutting-edge science and technology.